Hey, what's up, people? How you doing out there? I hope you're all having a great week, and uh, I hope you're, you, you've all been enjoying uh, the videos that I've been posting, because um, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> this is really cool. I put it off for like a long time, but I'm so thankful and uh, happy that I finally started. Um, but but anyway, it's talking about videos I posted. I, I wanted to do uh, a video about an episode about how I travel around Europe. Um, and I thought it might be helpful to any of you out there that might want to, you know, that are interested in maybe doing the same thing or, or just, you know, want to know why or how I get around. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple, but, um, but I thought it might be helpful. But before I really, uh, wanted to do that, I realized, man, you know, I'm traveling around. Maybe, uh, I should explain, it might be a good idea to explain why I travel around, uh, every 90 days. Uh, so so yeah so I thought this I could do that in this uh, this this episode. Um, so when when uh, on, the, on the other um, video about why I moved to Europe, you know I explained you know that I just was fascinated with you know European uh, culture and, and people and history and stuff, and so I really wanted to uh, experience as much of it as I as I as I as I could, um, and so so I had a I felt. Because of watch after watching uh, you know all those Rick Steves Europe uh, episodes on YouTube, I developed I came up with a list of countries that I wanted to see, and there were a lot. Um, France, of course, was was one of the was number one. I, uh, for some reason, I'm just super fascinated by uh, France and French culture and history and, and, and food and wine and, and uh, fashion, um, just so many things. And, and you know, I love that about you know all the, the countries that I've, I've uh, that, are, that are on my list, but but France especially. So I had a, came up with a lit, list of all the countries that I just just would love to go to, and um, and there were a lot, and so you know that's why I moved to Europe to, to be able to be closer to be able to do that. It was going to be a lot more financially feasible and uh, a lot more fun to be able to just pack everything up and just go there. Um, and so the initial plan was was I'd been researching a. Um, you know, ways I could stay in Europe, d different visas and stuff, because um, my passport only allowed me to stay in, in a, I discovered my passport only allowed me to stay in a country for 90 days, or the what's called the Schengen area, which is a group of, of countries that they treat as one country, and like France and Italy and and, and uh, Belgium and, and Spain and a bunch of other countries are part of the Schengen area, and they treat that area as, as one country as opposed to just, so when I go to their area, it's all that area is, is one country. So if I'm, so anyway, um, I, I figured out, okay, I, I want to visit these countries and, and, you know, but how could I do that? You know, I could only stay there for 90 days and how could I stay a long time? So I discovered, I was looking into different visas and, and, and I found that there was this thing called a freelancer's visa, um, in, in Germany, that Germany provided. So I thought, okay, the plan would be, I, I could go to Germany, apply for this freelancer's visa, and then I could use Germany as, um, a home base to be able to you know visit you know all the other countries and stuff to go to so I, I that, that was a plan so I packed everything that went there and you know started applying for this uh, visa and stuff and go through the steps but then the more and more I was there the more I'm realizing you know it's I am closer I am in Europe I'm closer than I was than the United States but I'm it's I'm, I'd still be kind of trapped or, or, or um, beholden to, to, to this one you know, area, this one country, this one city. I was in Leipzig at the time. And, and then I'd have to, you know, go off and then I'd, I'd have to come back um, because I had a, a roommate there, a, a flat there, apartment. Then I realized, you know, that's just kind of, it's almost the same thing as, uh, you know, why I, I decided to move into Europe in the first place. I didn't, you know, I, I left the United States because I didn't want to pay for two different residences, you know, be paying for my uh, apartment in, in the U.S. and then also my apartments and stuff while I was traveling around. And I'm like, oh, I'm in, I'm in almost the same predicament. I'm just, you know, closer. I'm in Europe, but it, I'm still going to be having to, to pay for two different residences. So I'm like, hmm, well, how could I fix this? And um, and I like Germany and stuff, but but I, I the only reason I went there was to get that freelancer visa so I could stay there because if I was in a Schengen area place, I could easily hop over to other countries. But it was still, I was still kind of um, locked into staying at that one place as my home base. So I... I started with anything and like, what could I do? You know, because it's now this is presenting a different challenge to, to stay here in Germany and then, you know, having to keep coming back and, and it would cost more to travel and stuff. And so, um, 
a friend of mine, I was, uh, was talking to another friend of mine, and he, you know, mentioned like, well, hey, have you heard of Airbnb? And at the time, I hadn't heard of Airbnb. So I'm like, no. So I checked it out, and I'm like, well, this is like awesome. I said, the more research I did, the more realizing it kind of answers all my, my uh, issues, my problems. It fixes all of them. You know, what can I do? You know, how can I rent someplace and have to, to go someplace to get a, a lease to rent, you know, what they call a contract over here. Um, and then you pay utilities and then, or maybe have to meet people. And, and that didn't seem feasible to try to get a, a new place to rent like that and sign a contract at least every, every uh, time I went to another country. And, um, you know, and the hotels were very expensive. Also, I thought about doing hotels or maybe hostels, but they didn't. Their hotels was very expensive, and then hostels was was um, not enough privacy. Um, I was thinking so. So when I researched Airbnb, I'm like, this is perfect. It answers you know, fix everything because you could do short term rents, lo long term rentals, and, um, and 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 I started researching, and every city had you know every country had Airbnbs all over the place. So I was really excited about that. So the, I did a test run. I, I, I booked. I wanted to visit um, Prague. From, from Leipzig, it was only a, a four hour bus ride. So I did that, I, I booked my very first Airbnb and it worked out perfectly. Um, but that one was, I first booked a, um, a room instead of a whole, the whole place. I'll explain why um, well, I do that later. But anyway, so that, that worked out great. I came back and I'm like, I gotta do this. So um, I stayed in Germany, Leipzig for 90 days and I'm, I'm, and I'm realizing, oh, I started looking around, you know, where can I go next? And I had to get out of the Schengen area, you know, cause I, Leipzig, Germany is in the Schengen. So, so I was just excited because now I can travel around and do the stuff and experience all these countries. And, and um, the reason why it's 90 days, I, I, like I said in the title, was because, again, my passport uh, for, for a complete, uh, only allowed me for a maximum of 90 days to stay uh, in the country. Um, and the, the country's rules, except for the UK, like the UK, for some reason, you can stay there for 180 days. So for six months, which I, I haven't done yet, but I, I really want to do that. So I'm like, all right, I could book a place for 90 days in each country. And, that, and I picked 90 days instead of going shorter because, you know, I was still needing to work. And, and then I was thinking, well, if I stay any shorter, it's, it's going to be a too, too much changing things, you know, countries too fast. And it takes some time to get used to the country, get used to the new place, the new, the new um, apartment, the new country, the new, you know, everything about the country, the stores, you know, all that stuff. So I figured... Great. 90 days would be a great amount of time to be able to um, stay in a country and get used to the place and settle in and, and get my work done and have time to visit places because there was a lot of stuff I needed to do, uh, I wanted to do when I was there. So I, so that, came, you know, the whole 90 day thing came up, you know, that, that was, I thought that was a great amount of time to be able to stay in a country, experience as much as I could of it before I had to go to another one. Plus I had to leave in at 90 days and uh, I didn't want to stay there any less time. Um, I wish I could stay there longer, you know, each country longer, but at the same time, maybe not because then I couldn't get to the next country. So, um, I just, uh, so that's how the 90 day thing came up. I was able to, that's my limit in the countries, except again for the UK. And, um, and I just had a passport instead of a visa. Um, if you want to stay longer than any, any of the countries you want, you need to get a visa, which I could still do, but it's a big, a whole big other hassle. And also if I wanted to visit all the countries on the list, I'm like, I might as well just go, you know? And it was that was so exciting because it was so fun to be able to go to a country and then be excited about staying there and getting there. And then I couldn't wait, even though I loved that country, I couldn't wait to get to the next country. So that 90 day thing worked out great. And so, yeah, that's, that's, um, just a big reason why I, I, and then, uh, how I got to do the 90 day thing. And the reason why I want to do it was because it's just staying in one country was just not, um, According to, to the purpose, the plan of being in Europe, it was to to, 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 to visit all the countries on, on, on my list, on the list. And that was, the, this was the best way I could think of at the time to do that. And, and I, another reason I moved around too was because it's just, I didn't grow up uh, going on very many vacations or holidays. So I thought this was a great way to do that, kind of like to be on a perpetual holiday, to, to always be, and even though I had to work, it was still a holiday to me to go on constant vacation just being in a new country, even though I worked, was working there, um, just being there and looking out the window and being, oh, you know, I'm in Italy or oh, I'm in Ireland or I'm in you know, France or something, um, was just awesome. And it still felt like I was just on a, a holiday. It doesn't ever end. And it's, it, I'm going to need to at one point stop 
but at least this, this is like an extended holiday, an extended vacation. And that was super exciting to me. Also, um, the thought of, of living life like just in one place, um, although it's, it's great, it's, and it's, that's the normal thing to do, that's, that's the, the preferred thing to do by most people um, in the world, but, but to me, for some reason, it was just very boring, you know, to, to stay in one place and, and live, you know, regular life there. Um, I don't know, it, it was more exciting and fun to, to, to live a different kind of life. A more, for me anyway, a more adventurous life, and 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 um, uh, so exciting to 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 be experience all the different things, you know, the people like in the history and the the culture, the food, you know, and every place is different, and it's so exciting to to experience that. I love the culture where I'm in, but then it's every country, even though they're close to each other here in Europe, so close, it's a totally different culture, totally different people, totally different. Uh, mindset totally different language you know in most cases um di di different way they do do things almost everything is different from country to country right next door and it was so fun to experience that you know um d different histories different architecture different um way to get around uh well not not so much different way to get around it's kind of the same almost in every country but you know you understand what i'm saying it was it was just so exciting to, to ex be constantly experiencing that and that's another reason why I constantly move around. The, the, the thirst to, to, to experience all those things, experience something new and different of all the things I love doing. You know, I, and I just love traveling, being traveling around from place to place. You know, um, I guess a, a, a wanderer or something, <laughs> a traveler, a vagabond. Um, I guess they call it a digital nomad too, which which I didn't know about that, that term before I moved to Europe. I found, about, I found out about that afterwards and I'm like, Oh, that's cool, but I, I'm just kind of doing this, you know, and, and I guess I just happen to do what, what that definition is. Um, another reason I, uh, I move around all the time is because to challenge me, what I find when I'm in one place for too long, I kind of get, it's easy for me to get sedentary and lazy, and, and uh, when I move around, I'm, 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 it, it, I love adaptation, be able to force myself to, to adapt to things, because otherwise I'm easily, you know, lethargic, and, and I, easier, I get lazy, I can get into a uh, you know, like kind of like for me anyway, a boring, boring habits. I get into boring habits easier, um, and, and and get stuck in ruts. I get stuck in ruts very easy. And moving around helps me to avoid all that because in order to, to move around, you need to be able to adapt to d different surroundings, uh, d d different people and, and culture and food and different different everything. And that was really helpful for my creativity. It helped me to. Especially working at home by myself as a as a, a freelance freelance artist, comic book artist, NFT artist, it, and I was home by myself most of the time. So that challenged me to stay creative and stay um, engaged, and give me more inspiration and energy to, to do my work. Um, and and then the travel around fueled my creativity and vice versa. So it just helped me to keep adapting and getting stronger at that and better at that and and um i really value adaptation to be able to adapt to situations and stuff and not being because for me it's just very limiting when i when i do that from for me and and i i, I really have a i really would love uh, to to grow to improve to change and get better the things that i do um constantly so and, and moving around helps me to do that um so i just love learning and i love also that's another thing i love learning and growing and changing and forcing myself, even when it's uncomfortable, to 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 grow and to change. You know, because change is a staple of life, no matter what we 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 uh, think. And and I really value change, and I value growth, and value value learning, and and so uh, traveling around constantly affords me the, the opportunity to do that. It reminds me constantly to do that. Um, it always keeps me on my toes. You know, don't get me wrong. I love you know just relaxing and chilling out and and being lazy as well, but. But it's, I don't know, it's just, I, I, I can do that within, um, you know, the new country where, where I'm at. Um, what are some other things? I kind of wrote down here why, a list of why, other things I love, love to do. Um, there, there's a lot of them, so I have, have, to, have to stay organized here. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, yes, I already went over that love feeling of being, in, I love the feeling of being in a new place. 
experiencing with you know with with the new 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 things, new history, and, and of course being challenged. So yeah, that that's kind of it. You know why I I keep moving around every ninety days. You know, there's several reasons. You know that I, that I do that. Um, of course, like I said, one thing is I have to. I have to unless I settle down and apply for a visa. I got to go because you don't want to overstay. You know, you can get in trouble. Thankfully, I haven't overstayed in any of the places. I don't want to do that. Um, but I, but I have to go. The only other place I did stay was after I I, I and wife we got married. Um, I got a, a visa residence visa in case I needed to stay longer in her country in, in Macedonia, North Macedonia there. So I, uh, some occasionally I'll do that. You know if I need to stay longer than than three the ninety days. Um, but for the m most part, we, we just love to move around. Thank God she, she feels the same way. She really wants to move around and get to new places and see new things. She loves traveling. So that really helps. Uh, because before, of course, I was traveling around by myself. Um, and I love being by myself. <laughs> that was another thing I love traveling. Just going by myself, me, and, and being in places just I hadn't been before. I remember one time where I was in Prague, when I went to visit Prague. Um, it, was, it was at the end of a day. I was coming back from uh, Old Town and to, to my... Um, the, to the room I was renting, Airbnb I was renting, and I remember coming up the hill, It's I think it's this park that's just south of Prague on the other side of the Vltava River, and it was at night, and I, I was on top of the hill looking over the Prague at night with all the lights glittering and stuff, and I'm like, how, just think how awesome this was. I was like, by myself, you know, in another country, thousands of miles away from home, and anybody that I knew and stuff, by my, just just there, just experiencing that moment, and it, it was just, it was awesome. And, and so I got the, the, that a moment, I, that, that kind of experience, the feeling I, I just love in every place I've, I've been, you know, I've been. And that's another reason why I travel, to experience that kind of, kind of feeling, that kind of moment wherever I go, you know. And, and that is priceless. All, the, all that thing, the stuff I, I described to you, just priceless. Another thing, uh, again, I'm able to do this, I travel around because I'm able to, because of what I do, I think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I just need a Wi-Fi and, and a, a computer and a Wi-Fi and my supplies, um, and I, I can travel around. And oh, I want to—I'm a big fan of another thing that influenced me why I moved to Europe and why I travel around Europe is because I was another big thing. This is because again, I'm a creative, a, a comic book artist. I love um, secret agent action adventure movies, and so a huge influence on me was like all the Jason Bourne movies and the the. Um, Mission Impossible movies, you know, and the Jason Bourne with Matt Damon and Mission Impossible with, with Tom Cruise, and all those films were filmed internationally, like in Europe or, or different places in Europe, different countries. Like the first one, um, the Bourne Identity, um, it was it was filmed in in, in uh, Paris and I think like in Greece, part of it in the beginning, and then in, in Paris and Germany and Switzerland, um, just and, and all that was just fascinating to me to be able to see that on screen. I'm like. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. That's awesome. And same thing with Mission Impossible. He was like being in Vienna, or they're being in Prague, or they're being in, um, you know, all these different cities and all over Europe. And that was so exciting to me. And it's like I I gotta do that. So uh, yeah, that was a huge influence. So I came over here. It's like I gotta be in this place. And then when I when I'd be in a city like that, I would look around I'm like man, like you know, I remember that scene in you know Mission Impossible when when. Ethan was in uh, in Prague, you know, or when when uh, when um, uh, Jason Bourne was in Paris, you know, and and, and or, or when they were, he was fighting that one dude in Morocco, I think it was in Morocco. I got oh yeah, this place I gotta go to Morocco. So yeah, all these things just add up to just the 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 the, the, the desire to just move around keep, and keep moving around. Another thing, for some reason, I just don't, I just want to keep doing that. For some reason, um, even in, back in the United States, I couldn't really explain it before, but but I had a, a challenging time just staying in one place. Um, and, it, and I remember one time the feeling I had of, of pack, I had to go work outside for, uh, in another city um, at one point. Got a job in another city and I packed all my stuff in the back of my truck and, and, and drove there. And that was just a good feeling to have all the stuff I owned there. And I just realized I love having a, just a little, you know. I, I, I more value, much more value traveling and not having a bunch of stuff, which, which is, again, it's fine if anybody wants to do that. Just for me, it didn't work for me. You know, I'd rather be in another country traveling around with a few things because I left most of my things, you know, in the United States. Uh, the, the things I had left, I left in the United States. I, I don't have much left. 
Um, and then, but everything else, it was such a good feeling that everything I owned, I could put in, in two suitcases and then a backpack, you know, and of course I needed my, all my work supplies, my equipment, my work equipment, and then my clothes I needed to, 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 um, to, to get around to, to wear, obviously. And, and I could fit everything in two suitcases and a, um, a backpack and that was it. And it felt so good to be, just have that minimal amount of stuff. And to be able to just take everything I own within those, you know, uh, that little amount of, of, of gear and take it wherever. And that's still exciting to me. Right now we have a car, so we just load it up, up in there. But but it's still the same amount of stuff. I, I, I don't have any more things than I did before. Just two lug two suitcases and a, and a backpack. And, uh, my, you know, uh, my wife has um, her suitcase. Of course, being a woman, she needs a little bit more. So she, I think she brought three. She's traveling around with three before um, suitcases. Oh no, no. When we were traveling around before we had the car, I had one. I broke it down to one suitcase, and she had two. So, anyways, but now we have more because we have more to fit. But still, uh, it's nice to look in the back of our uh, vehicle, and that's all of our stuff. That's at least, you know, and to be able to take it with us and and be mobile and get out there and and, and be in different uh, countries and and and, and uh, situations and experiences and adventures and you know every three months every 90 days so yeah anyways that's that's pretty much it this is kind of a long i didn't mean for it to be such a long video but but uh actually I, yeah I, I was thinking maybe this would be like eight to ten minutes but it ended up being like over 20 minutes <laughs> but we'll see how much it is when i edit it down um but yeah so those are the the reasons you know why i i keep traveling around every 90 days and it's still there. I'm just not, for some reason, I, I just, home, I don't want to say I don't, I don't value home because I do, but, but for me, a home is not like a one place I, I live. And that's my host house and I have a home base. Home is wherever we're at, or wherever my wife and I are at, that's home. Um, and before I met her, home was where I, wherever I was, that was home. And as long as I had a place to, 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 that was safe, comfortable, you know, hang my hat for 90 days with my things, I could work there and stuff. And, uh, you know, come back to after being out to do adventures and stuff. That was great for me. And, and I guess my home is just is mobile. It's wherever we're at. And, and I, I just, I need to change my home. I just didn't ever care about owning a house or anything. Uh, so yeah, it's just our home is, is my home is wherever we happen to be. Our home is wherever we happen to be. And that's to me is, is just so exciting. And, and uh, you know, maybe things will change in the future. So at some point we'll have to stop and, and settle down, you know, and get a place. Um, right now on, on the list, got to have list, is Italy, France, or Portugal. And, and right now I, I, my, uh, my wife loves Hungary, which is, this is a great place, but that's not on my list. <laughs> so, but at some point we'll have to settle down. But until then, home will be wherever we're at, and hopefully wherever, wherever we are at will be someplace different every ninety days or less. I, I stayed in, in uh, Ireland for five weeks. I think there was a reason for that. I'll explain it later. But yeah, hopefully, our home will be wherever we're at every ninety days. And so, anyway, that is it. I better. I'll let you go. I hope you enjoyed my th this this video, and um, let me know maybe in the comments or something, or let, you know if you want like it. And um, the the next videos, I uh, I don't know what it'll be, but I have a lot of uh, I'm looking forward to to, uh, to, sh to sharing it with you as soon as I sort that out. <laughs> all right, all y'all have a, an awesome rest of your week, and uh, I'll catch you in the next uh, in the next uh, video. Ciao ciao.